Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlicker shills, desolates, horse vessels, vessels, minions, meat sacks, music fans. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I'm going to do another uh, video with a musical topic. And unfortunately, my regulars know that means it's uh, inevitably the passing of another musical giant. And uh, that's true in this case, too. We have Jack Bruce, uh, the bass player, most notably, of the group Cream. Uh, has passed away at the age of 71 of liver disease. and uh, He was working right up uh, to these final years and even had an album that came out this year. I think he has 12 or 13 solo records, but uh, he's most noted for uh, being the bass player and singer in Cream. And uh, he started uh, in his teens in the Grand Bond organization before that and had quite a bit of experience before he was tapped by Eric Clapton, who was forming this new supergroup called Cream. Uh, Eric Clapton had been playing straight uh, British blues with the John Mills Blues Breakers and had departed um, in, in order to form this uh, new group. Uh, and this, uh, this also is after his, his ex uh, Eric Clapton's experience uh, in the Yardbirds. And so uh, Cream was formed and he tapped Jack Bruce and, and he really got a uh, 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 a unique moment in rock history, taking a jazz bass player and a jazz drummer and playing this power psychedelic progressive blues over the top. That was their innovation. And most people remember Cream, certainly for uh, Eric Clapton's uh, huge contributions, but um, one can't overlook uh, the contributions of Ginger Baker and especially Jack Bruce. Uh, not only was he uh, an amazing bass player, arguably, uh, one of the greatest uh, bass players who's ever played rock music, uh, maybe the greatest, uh, but he was also an amazing singer and could have made his career and his legend would, would still be uh, intact uh, if he chose just to be a singer. And uh, also uh, excellent writing skills. And um, so all those combined uh, made him a force to be reckoned with. And that's one of the things that separates uh, Jack Bruce's, uh, certainly his early work, apart from any other bass players, uh, just an intense force of nature, uh, unrelenting in a live context, and so juxtaposed with uh, Ginger Baker's uh, freeform uh, drumming style and Eric Clapton's uh, slow hand uh, guitar extrapolations of the 60s and Cream, um, it was truly a monumental achievement, and I'll, I'll certainly attach uh, some of that below. Uh, some people have now really been exposed to the live cream experience as much as they've heard the hits and uh, quite quite a different uh, beast indeed. So uh, so we have Jack Bruce uh, working with Cream from 1966 uh, until 1969 and uh, then he made a, a number of solo records right off the bat including a number of uh, jazz musicians like John Heisman and uh, John McLaughlin who contributed to early albums by McLaughlin and uh, also worked with the uh, Tony Williams Lifetime. Tony Williams, a noted jazz drummer, uh, created a jazz fusion group uh, in 1969, 1970, and uh, Jack Bruce was tapped uh, to uh, join the group by the time they did their second album. So that's a, a notable um, part of his career that people don't talk about. And, uh, and then he also did uh, uh, gigs with uh, different pickup bands and uh, recorded uh, records with a, a whole plethora of different uh, rock and jazz musicians. He formed one group uh, that toured in 71 that included Mitch Mitchell, the drummer from Jimi Hendrix Experience, as well as New York uh, uh, jazz guitarist uh, Larry Coryell. And uh, so a lot of these groups were fairly short-lived. Uh, by the time the early 70s rolled around, he tried to uh, relive the sort of the glory days of Cream in some ways by forming a group called West Bruce and Lang with uh, the guitar player and drummer from Mountain who were noted for their uh, hit um, Mississippi Queen but the, but the Mountain much like Cream um, had um, mostly shorter tunes on their albums but then would uh, improvise and uh, explore uh, to great lengths to, you know 15 20 minute songs uh, live and West Bruce and Lang uh, continued that same uh, format, and uh, Jack Bruce's contributions once again were staggering as a, as a vocalist, and as a bass player, as an improviser, and as a writer and singer. 
And um, so uh, the the van uh, kind of was a built-in tragedy, uh, being in the early 70s, and all all members of the band were doing heroin at the time. But they managed to stay together for two or three years and put out two studio records uh, well worth hearing. And um, and then uh, Jack Bruce uh, continued uh, working with all kinds of uh, different musicians in different formats, including Rory Gallagher, and he had a group called BLT with Robin Trower. And, uh, and I'm sure I'm missing all kinds of other uh, projects that he's been involved in, but uh, I will include his Wikipedia uh, page below so anyone uh, can check out uh, his long and illustrious career. And certainly Jack Bruce had a long and illustrious career uh, spanning a huge range uh, different types of music, but always bringing his unique uh, signature uh, to it. So uh, today we uh, we lament the passing of the the amazing uh, Jack Bruce, truly deserving uh, all and any accolades that have been showered on him over the years. Um, truly a unique talent, and he will be missed. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too. <laughs>